Hey, sweetie, I'll have to call you back. Happy birthday, Zachary. I'll call you back because I just started my life. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Thanks. Sorry about that, guys. Welcome, everyone. That was my daughter and my grandson. <laughs> Today, he is a year and a half. Good evening. You guys, I'm going to do something so much fun. It's a bit difficult, perhaps, but it's going to be so much fun. Hello, my favorite nurse. Hi, Gina. Good evening, you guys. Wait till y'all see what I'm going to try and do. Good evening, good evening. Hold on, I'm trying to share here. If y'all would do the same, I would appreciate it. And I'm trying to see if it'll show up. Huh. If I can see comments. Hope your day was awesome. Here it's been warm already. It got a bit windy and it started raining in Harlingen. I just drove in from Harlingen. So it's been a bit rainy. Like there's a something blowing from the south. Not the north, the south. So it's not going to be that cool. But you guys, um, I learned this technique from Shelly. So I'm going to try and do it also. It's really simple, but the technique is a little bit complicated. So... We're all going to learn together. I've never done it before. So we shall see. Can y'all hear me okay? Because it's showing here my volume is muted. There we go. So welcome, welcome. My name is Mai Belia. I am a Chalk Couture Independent Designer. If y'all have any questions throughout, just uh, comment. If I don't see it right away, do an emoji or just post it again. And either one of my designers, one of my regulars will hopefully be able to see your question and answer any questions you might have, okay? So this is the board we're gonna use. I uh, painted this yesterday and distressed it and what have you. So we're going to do the eat and the buffalo plant okay hey Analia how are you thank you Gina thank you thank you so like I said um, I learned this technique from Michelle uh, she's also a designer and um, I'm gonna try and do it you guys she did it with something totally different but I'm gonna try and do this okay so I'm gonna pan down we're only gonna use white and red and I already showed you the board, so now I am going to, let's look for this transfer, because both of them are large, so let me pan down so I can sit down, because I'm standing. Can y'all see that? Hope y'all had a great afternoon, great day, great afternoon, had your supper. Here it is. It's going to be the eat. And my pictures I know were cruddy, but I was in a hurry. I was in a meeting. We had a downtown merchant meeting today. So that's what I was doing. <laughs> I was posting um, the live for tonight while I was having the meeting. Okay, guys, this is a super huge transfer. If y'all can share, I would appreciate it. Remember, your name goes into the drawing. At the end of the month, we close it up. And then in April, I will announce the winner I will announce the winner and it'll be B size transfer 
Philly cheesesteak sandwiches with provolone. Yum, yum. Okay, what I do is I lift up a corner and I turn it down on my towel here for fuzzing and then I gently pull because I have had a transfer stick and this is what works best for me. You try whatever you want to try, but this works best for me. So, and I hope I remember the steps correctly. But here we go. Y'all cross your fingers, say a little prayer that this goes well. It's really sticky, but I need for it to stick, so I'm only going to fuzz it twice because we're going to use this one two times, you guys, and I need to wash it in between so it's dry when I need it again, okay? Chinese chicken broccoli now because your work has been busy today. Your work is always, I'm sure, busy. Attention to detail, my favorite nurse. But that sounds delicious. Haven't had Chinese food in a while. Okay, let me move my, this is gonna be my surface. Hello, Liz, welcome. Hopefully this turns out good so we can use it for our events coming up. goodness you guys oh my goodness this is scary hold on okay let me see if I can center this so we're gonna use the word eat and the buffalo plaid three and a half. Oh, I almost got that correct hold on So about there. Okay, you guys, I'm already getting all nervous here. My Kenny Wampus, can y'all see that well? Okay, so let's get the air pockets out. We don't want any air pockets. Pockets, not pockets, pockets. No pockets either. Oh, Analia, we'll see. I know Buffalo Check is your fave, your thing, but we shall see. Just, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We shall repaint the board and do it again, right? So hopefully, <laughs> I wish somebody was doing it with me. So I could, um, so we could go back and forth and see how it's going for each, each of us. Hi, Ellie. It's not sticking right there. Hold on, there's something right there. Sometimes you pick up too much fuzz off of a towel, so you can feel those little bumps. And since it was right there on part of that A, we had to fix it. You read eat and you're in love. Let's see how it turns out. Then maybe we'll mass produce it, right? I mean, we all have these transfers, you guys, but I guess um, they all look similar, but yet different. 
depending on the color, depending on what you do with them. Okay, wish me luck. So, I'm going to put white down first. I was going to do black and white, but I think I'm going to do red and white. Or should I do black and white for the buffalo check? I think I want it red and white so it can really pop out. And it'll be also good for, you know, like Mother's Day for um, a kitchen, Mama's Kitchen. But let's do the white first and then we'll ponder the rest. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm nervous. Nervous. Are y'all ready? Y'all don't forget to share if y'all want to win transfers. Okay, here we go. I have to work fast. All my ceiling fans are on. My air conditioner is on. So, let's do this. And then it's got to go in the water bath really quick. Thank you, Ellie. Everybody look away because I'm nervous. So, don't look. I'll tell you when you can look. <laughs> so, here we go. And if y'all try this and y'all are better at it, please let me know. Thank you, Liz. Here we go, you guys. Ready? Work fast. At this point, I don't care how much paste I use. We just have to keep it wet, moist. You know what? And I think I'm going to lift because it's... It's drying fast. Okay, I'm gonna lift. Wow. Okay, there's the E. Thank you, Liz. I'm going to use two cans. Oh, that one's too big. Need a small one. Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit. Okay, so what else did y'all have for dinner? I think I can do this, you guys. I'm going to hold it up, chalk it, and peel it. Okay? Here we go. I wish I had a third arm here. Hold on. Y'all have any questions? Miss Analia is here. Sheila is here. Liz is here. Who else? Where are my designers? Okay, got the A done. Woo, can y'all see that? Awesome. Melinda is here. She had tacos. Oh, yes, it's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Okay, ready? I'm going to do the last part. Hold on, burnish that down. Here we go. <coughs> okay, great. I'm going to start coughing. <coughs> Excuse me. Get the excess off. So you need your angle squeegee or your four inch squeegee for this. I recommend. Awesome. Okay guys, hold on, give me a minute. I'm gonna show you how I clean that up and put it out to dry. 
this has got to dry. So we'll put that down. And then let me show you how I do a big transfer. Okay, here's my water bath, you guys. And it's all crunched up in there because it's too big, right? So it's all crunched up in there. Usually I put it with a sticky side up, but I just get my uh, board eraser from Chalk Tour. This is the first one, you guys, I open. They come in a pack of two. And look, they last a really, really, really long time. It's a good investment. It takes care. It's not even expensive, but it's a good tool to have. It takes care of your transfers and your chalkboards, your boards. Um, it helps with shadowing. It's a good, good tool. If you're going to buy the Mr. Clean, don't do it. This is a better buy. Last you a long time, and it does, it does its job. So I wipe up, and it just like I think it just cleans better, especially the black, red, and brown ink, to where your transfer almost looks brand new after you use it. Then while it's in the water bath, I turn it over. I try not to use the Lysol disinfectant wipes. And if you're going to use the baby wipes, only use it on the top because it's got that lanolin or something, you know, for the babies. So um, I let it air dry, just water. I let it air dry. And if you need some of that stickiness to come back, then I use the Lysol disinfectant wipe. I don't use it all the time, only if I need to rejuvenate the stickiness. Yes, Liz, buy some. Buy some for you and buy some for your inventory to um, have for your customers because they'll be able to take care of their transfer better. And what does that mean? They get more uses out of it. So usually I leave the sponge in there. Then I just pull this off. And I'm going to put it on a towel in a little bit, but for right now, I'm going to put it there. Move my water bath back. Sorry if I'm boring you with this, but it's essential. It's essential. So then here's my towel. And we might have to help it dry, but usually I just lay them out on the towel let them air dry and I think it I don't know it's just my thinking I don't know for sure but it's my thinking your transfer will last you longer I think the more you use the Lysol yes it does help bring the stickiness back but you don't want to take off any unnecessary I don't know if you wipe it too much I think it takes off some of the stickiness Your next order, you need some of those extra tools. Yes, ma'am. It just makes your job so much easier. Marisol, you have no sound. Get out of Facebook and come back in, girlfriend. I think everybody else can hear me. I try and take good care of my transfers because I want them to last forever. I Ellie, por favor. So then I'm going to set this aside, you guys. Let it dry. We're going to come back to it and dry it in a little bit. So it's under my ceiling fan. Now we're going to go back to this. Make sure this is completely dry because it's going to have two um, transfers on it. Okay? So excuse the noise. Look, I got it wet right there. Forever.
It's just cold air, you guys. Gina, it's on cold. I'll tell you why in a little bit, but it's on cold. Okay, you guys, let me show you how cute this is. I got some water right here and it ran down, I think, when I was washing my transfer. Can y'all see that E? It messed it up a little bit. But look at all those little imperfections in the letters. You cannot get that with your Cricut or a silhouette. It is just beautiful. It's so pretty just by itself like that. But it is so, so pretty. Now, you guys, I'm going to change the technique a little bit. The reason why I use cold is because I used wax to um, set the, the chalk paste. But I'm going to show you a trick I've been using. And I took the label off because we can't advertise other stuff. But if you know me, you know what I use, right? Let me see if I can open this with this. So, I get my sponge, I get a little bit of wax, and I'm just going to go over my letters here. Why? Because I am sure that my buffalo plaid is super sticky. So, I just went over it with a real thin layer of my wax. Really thin, you guys. Yeah, well, this is supposed to have imperfections. Why? Because Miss Tara made it look like you had actually done it with a chalk. See, you can't even see that there's a finish on there, but there's some um, wax on there, okay? I've used this on several different things, but I have not used it on such large chalked surfaces, okay? So we're going to see how it works. So now, what do we have to do? We need to fuzz our gigantic buffalo plaid. This is still drying. It's almost done. But I'm going to put a cool dryer to this in a little bit. Because we're going to use it again. So... Here is my buffalo plaid. Y'all need to get it before it sells out and it's gone forever. So since I'm not going to use all the buffalo plaid, you guys, I'm only going to fuzz what I need, okay? So watch how I do this. You just pick up a corner, you have your towel down, and you're just going to roll what you need. Roll it off, roll it off. Like up to there, okay? I'm going to pick it up. Well, actually, let me pick it up like this carefully. I'm just going to pick it up back with its backing. I'm 
Now these are my crazy tech some of my crazy techniques, you guys. Y'all don't have to do it like me. Or y'all can practice because I don't want to be responsible for your transfer. <laughs> okay, so then same thing. Let's pick it up. Y'all are so quiet. Making me nervous. And it's just fuzz what we need. Okay, so it's fuzzed twice, and I'm gonna only do it twice because I really need for it to adhere to that surface with a little bit of wax. Okay, okay not bad, right? Okay, so that's ready. Set it aside. Ah! Hi guys, <laughs> I'm exhausted. Oh my goodness, how are y'all doing? So now, let's completely dry this and always use cool air. Cool air. So let me dry this, because now we're gonna use it again. Let me show you. Who is watching Indecent Proposal? I love Robert Redford. He's like Richard Gere. Love them. Okay, guys. So let's dry it with cool air. it's completely dry chopped so y'all aren't even watching me great y'all have me on mute because my voice is so annoying Thank you Ellie okay you guys this is gonna be <laughs> this is going to be hilarious let's do this okay so now I'm gonna put the buffalo plant on this and then I'm gonna put the transfer eat back on there okay hold on I got a little stuck here I have a hair on there Okay, so here's the transfer, the buffalo plaid. Now, let me see, right about there, I'm trying to align it also to where it's straight with the letters up on top. This is crazy, but important. Like I said, I learned this technique from one of our teammates. I don't want this to come completely off. So I'm gonna hold it with my belly. I'm gonna use my angle squeegee to get some of the bubbles out. Thank you, Sheila. I love you. Not real hard, guys, just gently. 
and this is going to be it okay so you put your buffalo plaid on then you get your eat and you align your eat You can see through the transfer and you align it as best as you can. So now are we going to use, are we going to use black or red? I want it red, what do you all think? Analia says I'm trying to align it as perfectly as I can you guys so just um, mess with it a little bit to you are happy with your alignment so I didn't do anything to the Buffalo check just put it down With the black, you think? It's a gray board. Okay. I'm not sure about right there, you guys. Hold on. The E is not aligning over here. Hold on. There. Better, 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 better red i have two reds a teal a black a yellow ellie you're just sunshine yellow is happy people Okay, I think I'm happy. You haven't seen a lot of red besides Christmas. You didn't see a lot of red for Valentine's? I think I did a lot of red and some pink. So now you guys, it's the transfer sticking to the transfer below, which is the Buffalo check, which is over the, our previous letter letters and now I'm trying to get the pockets air pockets out without moving my transfer too much and being gentle you love yellow red is your power color confident color look and it came off you guys so I tried leaving it on the transfer but it came off but it's on my towel so it's okay So what do y'all think? Black or red, black or red? Okay. Let me see if I have enough black. Because I don't have my new black here. Let me see if I have enough of my black. I don't think so. It's my two ounce little jar. And my big black is at home. So I think we're going to have to go with red. Play it safe. Make sure I have enough. Well, I like the black and white too. I just don't know if I have enough. And I can always make another one, you guys. If this turns out great, you betcha. Tomorrow I'm gonna go paint another board. <laughs> so if it turns out great, I can always do the other color, right? Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the same as before, is do a letter at a time and lift. 
I'm comfortable with that so my paste doesn't dry. Okay? Are y'all ready? <laughs> Cause I'm not. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so let's do it. Chickens are ridiculous. So I'm not gonna be a chicken, let's do it. Ready? Oh lordy. I feel like I need a third hand. Oh my God, it's gonna take a lot of paste, you guys. I'm glad we did the red. I don't think I would have had enough black. Taking the excess off. And let's pull. I think I need to pull both of them. What do y'all think? Hold on. I'm going to pull both. Oh my goodness! Ah. Okay, now let's do the letter A. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited! I love Chaka Tour, you guys. Love it. The possibilities, you guys. Or as far as your imagination. Now remember, I learned this technique from Michelle. She did it on something else totally with uh, some backgrounds and cute, cute, cute. And then I couldn't find it. So I had asked her some time ago, remember that video you did? And she told me I went back and I looked and I fell in love with it. And it's taken me this long to do it. Okay, so let's pull. Okay, now the T. Ready? Well, I think I don't think it's that difficult if you do it like this in sections. Paste and reveal. Lordy. Okay, now let me get one transfer in the bath at a time. What do y'all think? I think I need more of the solid red colors. So cute. Hold on, you guys. I don't want to ruin my transfers here. It doesn't fit in my water bath. You should see it looks like a bloody like a murder scene here 
Okay, but I got it all in nice and safe. Yay! Oh my goodness, you guys, it's so cute. Amazing. Thank you, Melinda. So pretty. Thank you, Sheila. Awesome, Liz. And Gina loves it. Cleaning my hands, guys, like it never even happened. What murder scene? There was no murder scene here. Okay, let me show you. Look at all the red it used, you guys. So be prepared with lots of paste when you do your buffalo check. I know how to do buffalo check, but my own way. I don't know if y'all remember those videos. Look, you guys. Okay, the only thing I would change, I think I would flip it, put the red down first, and then do the white. Or move my transfer to where there's more of the red squares up on the corner of the letter E. And see what pattern that was. Isn't that cute though? It's subtle. Doesn't scream at you. But I think it needed more buffalo plaid in there. More of the dark red squares. Isn't that cute? Oh yeah, you should see that. It looks like a murder scene back here. Let me show you my tub. And then I'll show you this again. And that's because I clean my hands. <laughs> Look how I got it in the tub, you guys. So it's all in there. I just make sure everything touched water. The other one is under there. Look, there's eat. So sticky side to, is not touching sticky side. My sponge is right there. And now I have a murder scene to clean up. <laughs> but so well worth it, you guys. That's how you tackle another big one, right? Just take your time. Drink a little dirty Coke. I'll show you my dirty Coke. It's not in a pretty glass, but I have dirty Coke again. Here's my dirty Coke. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, we did it. How long did that take me? Oh, 43 minutes. So I love it, you guys. This is going to be available at, well, it's available now, but it's going to Home and Garden. So I think I need to do one black and white. I'm going to bring some more black from the store. I have all my make and take supplies over there. And then I think I'm going to do this one again, but reverse. Or just move the, the red square over to where the red square starts here. You know what I mean? Where the red square starts here. And I think I'll end up with more of the red squares. See if the red square were to start oh, right there. I would have that red square, that red square. Everything that's white would be red. And then it would be more dominant. So does anybody have any questions? Everybody better go order your eat and your buffalo plaid while you still can. Or any of those other patterned, uh, what do you call it? Backgrounds, you guys, you gotta get them. Do you like it, Analia? I know you're a black and white girl, but I'll do another one. And the board, you guys, um, it's got gray 
white, I don't know if you can see it, and gold in there. So thank y'all for joining me. Who's going to join our team? Tell me who's going to go order the eat. Who's going to go order the buffalo plan? Definitely go order the, what do you call them? The, what do you call them? Board erasers. They're a, an essential tool. Essential tools. Make your life easier. And y'all should order extras, you guys, because um, it's good to have them on hand. So when you have a make and take, you can sell them. You know, make your customers' lives easier. And if they see you using it and how it makes chalking easier for everybody, they will also buy it. They will also buy it. So I used very little of the white, I think. But it seems like I used more of the red. And it seems like there was more of the white surface than anything else. Any questions? That only took less than an hour, you guys. I honestly thought it was going to take me an hour and a half. Thanks to Michelle. Michelle, when you see this, thanks to you, girlfriend. That was so... It, it was not so easy, but it was easier than what I thought. I'm done, Marisol. Look. Yay, Sheila. Sheila, get yourself some eats. It'll be great for your kitchen. I wouldn't do this, you guys, for a make and take. It's too big. It's too difficult. You want your customer happy, not having any problems with the transfer sticking to itself. You don't want someone to ruin your transfer. So no, this is something either you make the signs like this and you sell the finished product or you just make them to as gifts and give them away or you make them to decorate your home. But I don't recommend this for a make and take unless you have, we have some uh, customers of Analea in mind. Hey, Michelle! uh that have been to three or four of our make and takes they're groupies and maybe they would be able to conquer this michelle look at what i did using your technique everybody show hearts to michelle because we used her technique i called it hashtag michelle lee style michelle lee style so I layered, Michelle never did the buffalo check. Thank you for showing that to me. All the credit goes to Miss Michelle. You were waiting for some what, Melinda? The only thing is, Michelle, I was hoping I had more red blocks in there. So I think I should have started with a red block in there. But it's okay. It doesn't scream at you. It just says, eat a little something. Hi, Leslie. How are you? Welcome, friend. Look, Leslie, this is the Michelle Lee style technique of layering um uh, eat with the buffalo check she did something else but i asked her when was her video i went back a long time ago remember michelle and i went back and i looked at it a long time ago and then finally i said okay i've got to do that technique waiting for some transfers to come back they're supposed to be back this week so y'all order it, order, order, order. Michelle's secret, no, it's not a secret. I revealed it. She also has it on her videos, but I don't remember the date. What was it, Michelle, December or something? Yes, you should be scared. 
<laughs> the important thing is uh, fuzz it a little bit at a time. Pull the paper back is what I like to do. Um, and I didn't want to undo the whole thing, but the paper came off. So I had a towel under, under my table so it caught the rest of it. You have several, several of the videos with this technique. Yeah, she used little flowers, and I don't remember what else she used, but this is where I learned it from. My fellow teammate designer, she's amazing. Go back and watch the replay, or go, go look, hunt down, unless Michelle remembers the dates, go hunt down Michelle's videos. But I love it. I'm going to do it again, black and white. I'll probably give it to my friend, Analia. Tag team it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not more amazing than you. Woohoo! Okay, you guys, does anybody have any questions? Michelle, do you remember the dates? And do you want to post your, it's okay with me, you want to post your page on there? Do you want extra viewers? Do you want them to follow you? What do you want? Yes, just go for it, Marisol. Hey, you guys, and remember I waxed in between, so I think that helped a lot because this board is a little textured, and I'm afraid of texture. Just take your time. Drink a dirty Coke. Can you still drink or not yet? Drink a dirty Coke. And go have fun, you guys. Now who's gonna come over and help me clean my bloody mess? Oh my God, my buffalo check. Too many lives, yep. It was in December sometime. December or January of last year, 2018. Yes, I needed, you should have seen how I did it. I had one hand like this, but yeah, I need those kids to come help me. Even Mr. S would be nice, but I don't want him, you know, helping too much. You know what that means. Yeah, we were talking about you yesterday um, on our Monday night, night uh, chalk and sip. That man, what we do to have those kids helping us. <laughs> oh my gosh, we had, we did the um, Happy Easter. Let me show it to you. I'm going to add eggs to the top, but look at all the colors. Oh my gosh. Analia's is really pretty as well. But I think I'm going to add more little flowers on the sides. And I think I'm going to add a row. Ellie suggested a row of eggs up on top. So I think I'm going to do that. But oh my goodness, there's so much fun, but it's a little crazy. Michelle, can you please post your um, business page, Chalk Tour business page, please? So the ladies can go watch. You guys, she's always on. She's amazing. I can't wait to hug her neck at convention. Analia and I are going to tackle you. I Marisol. We just got to do it. That's all. <laughs> we just got to get those transfers out and do it. You got to order the big transfers too. Because if you don't order the big transfers, you can't do it. There it is, you guys. You can go uh, watch Michelle Lee. She's on our team. Same downlines. And she's awesome. 
she talks with Mr. S. Um, you have to watch her videos and find out why he's called Mr. S. And uh, with her kids, she's also, she's very creative. She mixes, like Miss Analia, she mixes and matches, transfers, and makes amazing things. So, awesome. Hey, Miss Ashley. Look, Miss Ashley, you missed it. You'll have to watch the replay. You guys, Ashley is our newest member on our team. Remember, Ashley, I told you I do have the word eat, but I'm using it tonight. Isn't that cool? It's two transfers, the buffalo plaid and uh, the new transfer eat. Isn't that cool? There's Miss Ashley, you guys. She finally, well, she she got her kid in Friday or Saturday. She didn't go to our make and take on Saturday. But she said she opened her kit and she's been playing with it. Her family loves it. Her friends love it. So she's ready to place her 50% off order. Her user coupon. And I told her, order as much as you can because it's an extra 10% off. So place that biggest order you can, girlfriend. And Miss Ashley, if you need help tomorrow or you want to come play tomorrow at the store, please let me know. Any questions, you guys? Yes, Leslie, send me pictures. I want to see. Are you going to do it live? Order all the things and then... That's for you. Then you have to order all the things again, and that's so you can have inventory for your customers or for make and takes or for craft shows, vendor events. Order all the things. <laughs> that's what I did when I got my phase one, two, and three, and my bonus and all my designer dollars back. Every time you guys you spend or sell $200, you get $20 back. There's so many ways to make money with this company. Yep. Okay, you guys, any other questions? Yes, y'all need to try it. Even with those other, the backgrounds, I don't know if I have the backgrounds with me. No, I don't have them with me here. Yes, Leslie, send pictures, or if you're going to do a video, let us know. We'll go catch you. Everybody who does it, please, please post pictures. I'll, I'll share them. I'm so excited. It worked, you guys. Now I can't wait to. Tomorrow I'm going to go paint another board and do it all over again. Anybody want to join my team? Let me know. Anybody, I know we have a lot of designers on tonight. Designers, y'all need to go order, order, order the big transfers. You need to order your board eraser. You need to um, just, you know, place, use your 50% off. Man, what I give for another coupon. Oh my gosh. But anyway, let's go. Y'all go place your orders. Get those PVs up, personal volumes up. Y'all go chalking. And I think my friend Analia is going to be on tomorrow. And uh, thank you, Marisol. And Michelle's on all the time. If you need to get your chalk fi fix, go watch Michelle. Order it all! Poor Alex. Hey, you guys, most important thing, seriously. You want to grow this business? You want it to pay your hobby because it's so much fun. It's really not working. If you want to grow your business, what do you have to do? You have to spend money to make money. Invest it wisely. I know I've scared some of my team members because I say, if you need help ordering, let me know and I'll tell you what to order. And I think I was telling Analia today, I think my team 
my my team thinks oh my god this girl's crazy she'll spend all my money <laughs> well you know given the opportunity I would but <laughs> if I know Michelle I know Analia's here and we've both all three have invested a lot of money into this but the more money we invest guys the more money you make if somebody needs something, one of your customers needs something, you have it on hand, they need it right now. If you go to an event, if you go to a make and take, whatever, you have it on hand. You bought it at 40% off and you turn around and sell it at retail. These are like insider secrets that I keep telling everybody but nobody listens and my head's about to burst because I get so excited because I wish I could pound it into some, of, some people's heads. Preach it. Oh my God. I don't even, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. You guys, I have an extremely large inventory. An inventory that probably, I remember Miss Sarah one time said she had a big, huge inventory for a, uh, like a home and garden show. Anyway, and I said, oh my God, that's crazy. I'll never have that inventory. Well, as Analia and I have been working together, we see that we need a huge inventory. Why? We don't know what the people's taste is. We don't know what they fall in love with, but we need to have it all and we need to have it there because not everybody is going to place that order online, right? So if you have it there, they take it there, right? But if you don't buy it, you can't sell it. You know, if you don't invest in yourself, I can't invest in you. I have my own stuff to buy, right? You have your stuff to buy. But I can promise you this. If you try hard, if you go to an event, the most money you can make is at a make and take. And then selling your finished products like Analia does. Analia and I always take finished products to a make and take. They're doing a make and take, but we take finished products. We take inventory, all the paste that we have, all the squeegees that we have, all the transfers that we have. And we sell, we don't sell out, but we sell. It's crazy to know that you go to a make and take and you're paying $35, $45 for something, yet they want that gather sign. They want that other thing that you made and they take it home. So they take something that they finished and something that you made. Okay, and now going back to if you would give me the opportunity to spend your money, what I would tell you to purchase if you're going to do make and takes and little demos and things like that, invest all your money that you can. Buy the big transfers for yourself. But guys, if you buy B size transfers and A size transfers, that's where your money is. Why? Because they're not gonna. The, the customer is gonna buy it. You tell them how to use it. You tell them how to fuzz it. You tell them all of this stuff. They walk out of your booth. They forgot everything because they're so excited, so excited. Just like many of us, right? We're designers. We get all crazy. And what does she say? Why is my transfer sticking? Why is my paste drying? Why am I lifting my transfer and all the paste is coming back up with it? So I made little signs, little printouts that we give out to everybody who purchases. We don't even tell them, I just stick it in the bag. They can read it later. And I tell them, there's very important information in here. Make sure you read it before you start talking. Not talking, chalking. But anyway, you guys, if you're going to invest in your business and you have money, I know we're all on a tight budget. We are all on a tight budget. But I've been in business for a long, long time and I've seen the people that have listened and invested what they could in their business and they see it come back. So then you're feeding your habit, you're making some money, you might not be selling stuff on your website, but you're selling finished product, you're selling make and takes, you go to vendor events and the stuff that you sell finished, you guys, all of that is profit. You might have spent a few dollars here and there for your background or your board and base from Chaka Tour that's, you know, 40% off. It's nothing. Um, but when you see that money and we divide up our reports, it's like, wow. Wow. So much fun. 
So anyway, I'm done off the soapbox. That's what the buffalo plant did to me. Sorry I got after everybody. But if you're going to make it in this business or any business, you got to spend it to make it. And you got to put 100% into it. 100%. Let's shop! Yay, Ruby! So don't don't let me scare my teamies, my, my uh, downline, my girls, when I say, if you need help spending your money and what to buy, I will tell you what to buy. You buy what you can afford. That's all you can do. But remember, for every $100 you spend, every $200, you're going to get $20 back. That's extra stuff, you guys. It accumulates. So every $200 that you spend, you're going to make six to $800. And for you new girls, if you haven't read what's in your folder, in your kit, you need to go back and read your 50% off coupon email. You need to go back and read your phase one, two, and three, and the bonus. I tripled my inventory at the very beginning because I called my customers. I called them and I said, guys, if you're ever going to order anything else from me, you need to order now. So I sold a lot on my website and I purchased a lot. I'm not going to say I didn't, but I needed inventory. So I completed phase one, two, and three, and I got the bonus with Chaka Tour. And then I got the $20 for every $200 that we made. It was amazing to see the stuff coming in and they're just rewards from Chaka Tour. Yes, you had to spend money. Yes, you had to sell it. But... You see it when you see it and you have this inventory you're like wow okay I'm done I think uh, my dirty coat got to me so sorry <laughs> so anyway go watch uh, Michelle Lee I think Miss Analia is gonna be on tomorrow and if any other designers are gonna be on post it now so we can go see it with your website I mean, with your Facebook site, business page, whatever it's called. But y'all can message me anytime, especially my teammates. I know sometimes I think I, um, I maybe intimidate them or scare them because they, they probably think I'm going to spend all their money. But no, it's, it's your money. It's an investment in you and your future. Good night. Love you guys. Bye.